All right, here we are at the corner of Jane and Lawrence. I'm gonna go for a walk. I think I bought a, yeah, this is a car tire store that back in the 80s, mid 80s, I guess, I bought a set of um, Yokohama tires, I believe. And uh, anyway, I think so, that's what I did. So we're right here in the corner. I'm gonna walk north, this intersection. Let's see what we can find in this beautiful part of town. Beautiful part of town. Look at the skies are happening. Wow. All right, should we go? Should we go? Can we go? Can we go? Yes, we can. All right, here we go. We're running across the street of uh, Jane Street, walking on the west side of the street. You already got ruckus. This, this guy's got a sign here. Let's see what this guy's sign says. What do you what do you have? Good job, man. Thank you. All right. So we already got a sign guy here in the corner. Wow. Traditional Mexican kitchen. Oh, let's see. Yeah. All right, Mexican kitchen. I've driven by this area lots of times, daily sometimes. Back in the day, sometimes. <laughs> but you know, it's one of those places that you never stop by and look, and uh, it's got a good, good kind of a old school feel to it. But you know, sooner or later, this uh, plaza is gonna be totally taken out for condos. So I figured, Come by and check it out. Check it out, check it out. Most shops are here, open, and doing brisk business here. They're almost better than downtown Toronto. Computers, cleaners, wow. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, this place is closed. No, it's open. Oh, it's a bakery. Oh, this place gotta be closed, okay. One closed shop in this whole strip mall. It's doing better than downtown Toronto, for sure. Week shop. It's a buy, sell, and go. It's a buy and sell place. Computers. It's like old laptops. Old cameras. Look at these. Craziness. Cool. Some tools. And those would be good shops to go and check them out, but they all. Uh, oh. Guitars. Cool. Yeah, interesting shops here. Wow. I never noticed they had a couple of good uh, used shops for buying uh, knickknacks and that kind of stuff. And they had some guitars, some bikes. Is there any more uh, stores up there, or that's the end of that strip mall? Let's just walk a little bit further and check it out. McDonald Avenue and Jane Street. Yeah, there's another one. Okay. Let's 
Salvadorian. Wow. Wow, so a lot of... Uh, a lot of Mexicans and uh, South American style food places here. Interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. There's another Mexican chicken grill. Nice. And here's a boutique for funky women's attire. If you want to be funky. All right. What's this place? This one is for sale. I'm trying to sell this place. It's a bunch of stores in it. Boy, what do you what do you think reckon that's gonna go for? About a million on Jane Street? No, it's gotta be more. Yeah. It's got, you gotta rent that out to four or five different shops. Oh my god, the headache on that. It's gonna cost you a million dollars a year in headaches. Uh, <laughs> but probably not. Jane Pharmacy, look at this place. Very nice, very interesting. And that's, uh, wow, that was a restaurant back there across the street. It's kind of cool. It's all graffitied up now. I remember that from the long time ago when that thing was working up. So we got a garage here. We got another biking guy on the bike mission. He's got his lights on, make sure. I mean, you wouldn't want to be riding on this Jane Street anyway, right? You don't want to be riding on the... Oof, so dusty. This section of Jane Street, anyway. Uh, but... It is what it is. Mixture of garages. Repair places. Old school, huh? Yeah, this area is really underdeveloped, which is cool. I like it. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, this whole picture of this whole place. It looks champion fuel injection service. Wow. Very nice. Old school champion STP. Anytime you see a champion, you know, and STP stickers anywhere. That indicates it's real kind of old. And there used to be, STP stickers used to be everywhere. I would say they started in like a 60s or something. And they used to be like a, the coolest brand, STP. Uh, like a round circle, oval shaped circles and all the race cars had it. Look at the sidewalk, you're walking on the sidewalk and the cars are buzzing at 60, right next to you. Uh, more pizza place. And Champion, all of that kind of stuff are very old school uh, brands of motor, uh, motor racing and all that. So when you see some garages are still doing that, you wonder how old they actually are. Look at this little plaza. Cool, very old part of Toronto. Old school Toronto. All right, all right. We're filming too, everybody's filming. The whole city, so everybody's filming. Everybody's got a car, dashboard, camera. Everybody's got an iPhone. Everybody's filming in the city. That's, uh, that's what 2000s got you. 2020, onward, everybody has to film everything they do or it doesn't count. What's this place? Burger's place. Fusion street food. A little more mall here. We'll walk up to the next one. Whoa, the cars are buzzing by. That's like a tough sidewalk to walk on. Noisy and lots of cars. Let's see how it's... Wow, look at that. Huh? Look at that. Hair salon, coffee cafe, live bait. Wow, there's a bait shop here. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah, they sell just uh, live bait and fishing stuff. I guess uh, it's on the way to going up north, right? It's Highway 400, it's right here. So the guy figured if you're going up north camping or fishing, you're gonna stop by this guy and pick up some uh, fish bait, I guess. Fishing is fun, fishing is fun, but a lot of regulations around it. You know, where you can fish, what license you need, what kind of fish you can take, what season, all that kind of stuff. 
gets when, when, when government puts so much restrictions on stuff it just becomes no fun anymore you know it's, you got to watch this and watch that you don't want to you know you don't want to go out just goofing around and get a ticket for you know being wrong or illegal because you're on the wrong side of the river or wrong kind of fish or whatever right i've only been fishing once when i came to canada i went fishing in algonquin and it was actually very successful but then i just kind of didn't really enjoy it because i didn't like eating fish and if you i feel if you go fishing and you fish all day and you catch a fish if you don't eat it it's kind of like i don't get it you know i mean if you don't eat the fish it's it's kind of a waste of time right like that's a lot of fucking mess here whoa toronto are you messy yes you are sometimes you're messy hell you're always messy toronto who are you kidding so yeah, so and I didn't used to like fish when I fished, and I figured like, oh, what's the point of, you know, hanging out on the side of a river all day and you can't eat it and you don't like to eat it. So I quit fishing a long time ago. But I wouldn't mind maybe starting it, maybe sometime. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's a fishing story, and I caught a fish this big. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody has a fish story. Look at this place. Look at this office, e-file, all sorts of stuff. Wow. We are on J Street. This is uh, Highway 401 right in front of me. You know, walk to that gas station and see what's going on. And uh, then we head on. It's a very uncomfortable sidewalk to walk on. Like you're walking on a very narrow sidewalk. And these cars are like, you know, double lane, changing lane, coming in and out at you. And about, I would say, minimum of 60 kilometers an hour. 50 to 60, which is pretty, you know, it's a not a safe sidewalk to walk on, actually. Yeah, we gotta, you know, it's best to walk on a, facing the cars, as opposed to with the car direction. That way, you know, in case you see a car coming at you, maybe you have a slight chance of getting out of the way. You won't be able to, because they're probably too fast and not paying attention, but at least there's a chance there, you know. I mean, safety tip. safety tip of uh, David Finn mission. The best safety tip is just don't even walk on the street. Security protection agency, pharmacy. Okay, that's enough of this craziness on the street. Gas is $1.69, $1.61. Cents for a liter in Canada, it's pretty high. That's diesel actually. The regular gas is uh, $1.50, $51, $52, $1.50. 1.9.9, so it's about, by the time you finish your dollar 55 and diesel is 161. All right, I'm gonna end the film here. Uh, thanks for joining me for this quick walk on uh, Jane Street. Jane and uh, Lawrence, North 2401. I will catch you in the next film.